Hi everyone, welcome to week two PE with Mr. Sasaki, summer school style. All right, uh, this week we are going to an island, just like last week we were in the Bahamas. This week we're going to another island, but this is the island of Japan. Konnichiwa. It should be a lot of fun, get excited. We're gonna work out in beautiful gardens. We are going to go hang gliding, and I'm going to show you a traditional Japanese game that they play with a stick and a ball, and we're going to make one for ourselves. So it should be a lot of fun. Get excited for this week in PE. Okay, everyone. Uh, what we're going to do next is we're going to go um, and visit this beautiful garden behind me. Uh, the Japanese culture has several gardens like a rock garden, um, flower garden, um, but behind us is an azalea garden, okay? So it's blooming right now and it's going to be really pretty and we're going to go and take a walk uh, through the azalea garden, okay, for our warm-up. All right, let's go. Um, remember, we're going to use our L arms, okay, back and forth as we walk, um, and look at the beautiful garden, all right? Let's go. We're gonna do this for um, about a minute, okay, and then we can look around and then we're gonna keep going. The good thing is I just wanna see the arms come back and forth and get your, your knees up as we um, walk throughout the garden and look how pretty it is. Keep coming. Start walking. Beautiful azalea garden in Japan. Pump, keep pumping, move your arms. Let's walk faster. How fast can you walk? Come on, let's go. They don't have gardens like this and walnut. It's beautiful, isn't it? Come on, keep going. We've got to warm up. We've got some activities to do today. It's beautiful here. Look around while you exercise. Keep coming, come on. Come on, keep coming. Keep coming, we're almost done. All right, that's good. Our heart's pumping, we're nice and warmed up, ready for activity. Okay, we are going to try a skill from the sumo wrestlers of Japan. The sumo wrestlers have this workout called the Shiko, and it's a leg workout, and we're gonna try it. Okay, we're gonna try to do 10 of these Shikos. Watch me and just try to follow along with what I do. Okay, I'm gonna balance on one foot, and then I'm gonna lift my leg um, all right, we're gonna do 10 of these. You guys ready? All right, here we go. Leg up, and you can grab your leg and hold it, and then down and slap your thigh. And then we're gonna squat down. All right, here we go, that's one. Hold it. Two. Up, pull, balance. 
three. Up, pull, four. Up, pull, five. Up, pull your leg up, balance, and slap, six. Up, pull it, hold it, hold it, and slap, seven. Up, pull it, pull it, and slap, eight. Two more, come on. Up, pull, pull it up, pull your leg up, nine. One more, up, pull your leg up, balance. 10. All right. You can feel that in your legs and your hips. The sumo wrestlers do 300 of those in a row, back to back. So it's quite a workout. It's fun to work out and try things okay. from other countries. For our next activity, we are gonna go hang gliding, okay? Right next to beautiful Mount Fuji. It's one of the most famous landmarks in Japan. Get your hangers, everyone, because this is what you're going to use to guide the glider as we sail through the air and look at the beautiful scenery of Japan. You ready? Well, let's do this. Okay, guys, are you ready? We're going to go hang gliding. Get your hangers. Come on. Let's run. There you go. Keep your arms out. Keep your arms out. There we go. There we go. Your arms out, keep the glider up or else it's gonna go down. We wanna go up. Look at this is Mount Fuji. Ooh, two hands on the wheel. Keep going. Wow, oh, it's really beautiful. Keep your hanger up. Guide the glider. yourself a Japanese toy okay here it is you need a water bottle string and this is a paper ball okay um, we're gonna try to swing and catch this okay I missed but that's okay that's why they call it practice all right all right don't give me a hard time all right here we go up and in. Well, that's why I'm the teacher. Okay, um, this is a fun game, and I'm going to show you a lot of different things or what you can do with this, okay? And that'll be coming up next. Okay, that was fun walking in the cherry blossom fields of Japan. What a beautiful country this is. Next, we will make that toy I just showed you, Kendama. I'll show you how to use it, and then I'll show you how to make it. Sound like a plan? Okay, you ready to see us play with these? Here we go. Got it. Oh. Ooh. Oh. 
Okay, next with our new toy is to try to tap it up. Okay, we tried to catch it on the top. Now you're just gonna try to tap it up in the air. You ready? That's two. Okay, let's see how the locals in Japan use their kendama. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make a kandama or a Japanese toy with this water bottle. Just a simple water bottle. Now, you need some scissors, parents only, please, and you're going to cut the end of the water bottle off. All right? Then next, you're going to take some string and wave it wildly. Just kidding, but you do need string. Now, you take the string and attach it to a paper ball. Now, that's just one piece of paper. Okay, and then I tape it to the string, and I put tape all around to make the ball sturdy. Then the string is attached to this lid of the water bottle. I poked a hole and just put the string through and tied a knot. Then we just twist it back on, and voila, we have our Japanese toy. All right, so you can try to catch it remember in the top or try to bat it all right it's a lot of fun let's give it a try okay guys hey it was a lot of fun this week we did so many different things while we were here in japan um and it it's always fun to work out and to do it in a different place in a culture that's been around for thousands of years it was just a lot of fun um we're gonna do this again next week so uh, keep exercising, stay healthy. We do this because we care about you, and we will see you next week for more adventures, more PE with Mr. Sasaki. Until then, be safe, and see you next time. Okay, just like always, I'd like you to do this lesson at least twice this week. If you didn't have time to make the condemna, then do it as homework. It's fun to try things from other cultures, so give it a try. It's a great eye-hand coordination skill, so practice, 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 and we'll see you next time. Chou, tabemono de asobu na yo. Nana.